Hey everyone, thanks for coming to my Beauty and Sense fan page here on Facebook. <sighs> so excited actually, because um, I haven't done a live on my fan page for a while. It is so hot in here, by the way. You guys are going to have to, um, just, it's warm in here. I don't know why, but it's warm in here. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this is coming across nice and clear. Um, when you do join us, if you would do me a favor and uh, just post a comment so that I know that everything is working. Um, let's see. It's blizzarding. It's not that it's warm outside. It's just we have a radiant floor and it takes almost six hours for it to either go up or down to whatever temperature you want. And apparently I put it too high. <laughs> oh, hi, Bailey. Okay. And it doesn't help that I'm menopausal and have hot flashes. So we're just going to go with that. <laughs> Um, but good. I'm glad to see. Of course, she's going to start barking now. Lucy. Hey. It's my correction spray. If I'm not near her, it doesn't help her. All right. Let's get started. I am super excited to bring these, and I have not smelt them yet myself. So these are true, authentic first sniffs. Are you ready? Okay. Um, let's get started. I just want to make sure I can see the comments and I can tell if people are here. Hi, Carla. All right. Very good. Seeing comments. Okay. So the first one is called A is for Apple. A is for Apple. It's good enough for me. I don't know if this is backwards. It's kind of hard to see because it's not focusing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a Granny Apple Smith Green, and I'm assuming it smells like apples. Let's see. I'm going to read the descriptions, too. Yeah. Um, was it apple? No. Oh, was it apple press that smelt like that, Granny Smith Apples? Oh, this smells amazing. Uh, sweet tart Granny Smith and Macintosh notes offer a bite of pure apple bliss. And it is pure apple. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So that is A is for apple. Next we have accidentally in love. And it's red. It's not refocusing on, there we go. Thanks, Mr. Camera. Um, accident, <coughs> Lucy, hey. I don't know what she's barking at. I don't see any deer out there, so <coughs> I don't know what it is. Come here, come here. Lucy, <laughs> Lucy, come, 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 come. Not working. All right. Accidentally in love. Oh. Oh, there is lemon or lime. Something tangies in there. Crisp gingery tangerine. Wow. Okay. And exotic palm frond. Keeps things clean and bright. It smells, it's got a clean, a nice clean scent. I know that I smell tangerine though, but I suppose if you put ginger, I suppose if you put ginger and, <laughs> she's not going to let me do this, is she? Lucy, please hold while I go and take care of my little girl who seems to be parking at everything right now. You want to go out? You want to go out? You're not making money 
Okay, go play. Go play. Well, mommy finishes her professional video. Everybody's waiting. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's start this again, shall we? <laughs> um, so ginger and tangerine probably smells like lemon or lime. It's just a really tangy scent. Oh, that's really nice, though. That would be lovely in the kitchen. Lovely. All right, next is All You Need Is Love. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all You Need Is Love. Oh, that isn't what I expected. Mmm. Caramel. Toffee. Butter. Hmm, what is that? Whisper sweet somethings with coconut sugar, creamy vanilla, and Bing cherry. Wow, that's good for the kitchen too. Oh, that's lovely. That smells delicious. <laughs> and that one is kind of like a creamy color. Really? How are we going to do this so that it works? We're not. Because I have such a professional video going here. <laughs> Say hi. Tell me where you're from if you're just joining us. Um, aloe water and cucumber. I think I just spit on my thumb. <laughs> um, this is such a <laughs> take it as it is video, right? Usually when I do it on my fan page, at least it's a bit more professional than this. <laughs> Aloe water and cucumber. Very light. Mmm, that's nice though. That smells like a nice bath. <laughs> this would be a nice scent for the bath. Mmm. Hey, Christy. Howdy, Texas. This is really nice. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond. That must be like the scent of the year. Palm frond. And pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. I am, oops, I missed it. Amber from Southwest Washington State or Street? <laughs> I'm assuming state. That's pretty good. You can smell the coconut, but this smells like an a, a awesome bath. Uh, product. Love it. Okay. Oh, and it's uh, like a minty green. This just doesn't work. doesn't want to work. I don't know. I'd have to do the whole, okay, like this. <laughs> um, okay. Next is apricot vanilla. Um, I'm assuming it's going to smell like it sounds. It is an apricot-y color. Oh, you can hear it barking outside now. Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Mmm. Smells like a creamsicle. Oh, that smells nice. Uh, heirloom, uh, heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. Tempt fate and everyone else. One of Heidi's favorites. It does. It smells like a creamsicle. Mmm. That smells good. I have a glare, which is why I'm reading like this. <laughs> Blue hyacinth. This is like a lilac-y color. It's like a slate blue. Yum is right. This is florally. And it smells just like the blue hyacinth flower. You ever see those big, they're big, like big puffy, they look like cotton ball flowers, but they're blue or they come in different colors. Mmm, smells just like it. Florals from heaven, pure blue hyacinth and all about the flower power. It smells just, if you know what a blue hyacinth smells like, this is exactly what it smells like. North Carolina in the house. Yay. Okay, caramel sugar cone. Mm. 
don't know what she's barking at. I really don't. I smell the caramel, but there's something different in there. Like a lighter sugar. The scent of the year is heirloom peach. Oh. This smells really good, though. Um, Guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla sugar cone, and a touch of malt. It must be the malt that I'm smelling because it has kind of a different... That's exactly what it smells like. Have you ever smelt malt balls? Like the, the malt balls that you get? What are they called? That's not what they're called, are they? They come in like a milk carton, and they're chocolate-covered malt balls. What are they called? It's not what they're called? What are they called? <laughs> so, um, this one has, it's a very caramelly color. Darling Dahlia. Well, there it is again. Christian is right. Hmm. Okay, rubbing whoppers. Yes. <laughs> mm, this one I had to rub. Malt and melt balls. Or whoppers. Hi, Nicole. Um, this smells really good. It's more fruity than I had anticipated. It's nice. Heirloom peach, bashful dahlia, and strawberry sweeten the deal. Oh, yeah. Scent trend. Oh, yeah. Christian, you're so smart. This one's purple. Purple. Darling Dahlia. Okay, let's get punchy. Let's get punchy. Orange. It's orange in color. Oh, look. See, if I did it that way, you'd see it better, huh? I learned halfway through. <laughs> Ooh. Very orangey. What is this one called? Let's get punchy. Oh, God, it does smell just like Hawaiian punch. Good Lord. Stir up some Fiesta Worth fun with navel orange, tropical cherry, and apple slices. It smells like Hawaiian punch. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Love that one. Um, Mandarin Splash. Is orange. Lighter orange. I'm learning that I have these were cold. <sighs> Smell your own skin to neutralize your scent receptors. Did you know that? <sighs> this one's really light. Very light. Mandarin goes rogue with a fresh layer of light woodsy notes. That's why. I find it's light though. Mandarin Splash. It's a light scent. It's very uh, citrusy, but it's light. I mean, just to, to warm this one to see if the woodsy notes come up. Midnight in Caraco is purple. I don't know what this smells like, and I'm not sure that I'm liking it. <laughs> it's got to have musk in it because I'm not a big fan of musk. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's certainly not. It's more man, manny, manly, <laughs> manny, manly. Um, there's got to be musk or something in there. Brazen notes of currant, orange, and mirabelle plum sneak out after hours. <laughs> Thanks, Rhonda. I got a, a great sniffer. <laughs> I I don't I'm not smelling the fruit in this, and that's the problem. So it needs to be warmed. Because you know me, you all get a chance. <laughs> I don't hate you out of the tester. Um I mean I, I guess I smell plum a little bit. 
I just, if, to me, it's very musky and I'm already getting a headache. So cinnamon and musk give me headaches. So that's that. Ooh, pineapple pucker. I'm wiping my fingers if you're wondering what I'm doing <laughs> to get all the scent off of them. Uh, pineapple pucker. Mm -hmm. Um. Those hard candies, pineapple hard candies, have you, I don't remember what they're called either. Smells just like that. It's a sugary pineapple, I will tell you. It's not a citrusy pineapple. Steals the show in this eye-opening tropical production. I find it's a sugary pineapple as opposed to a tart, sour pineapple. But it's nice. I like it. Rainforest. Oh, I didn't show you the color on that one, did I? It's yellow, like a pineapple. <laughs> um, Rainforest Bungalow is a nice green. Oh, nice and light. Oh, I like that one. You got it, Christy. Thank you. <laughs> this is nice. This is clean and fresh. Not necessarily clean, but nice and fresh, like if you just opened up the doors or the windows on a new spring day. Mm, I like that. Take the road less traveled through emerald, palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. Yeah. Mm, I like that one. Bungalow, rainforest bungalow. Um... Okay, the next one is sheer leather. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this one. It's kind of a tan color. Yeah, a little bit flower shop. I find it's more fresh though, not so florally. This is a soft leather cover, cover, scent. <laughs> it does sound like a spa day. Um, I don't know why this reminds me of a leather chair as opposed to a leather jacket. I don't listen. I never said that I was a professional sniffer <laughs> and that my, and my descriptions were not, um, <laughs> off the wall. This isn't bad though. I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of weathered leather and I find this is nice and it's a, like a smooth scent. So it's just, it's nice. Not sure about many of these so far. What do you think? Uh, what do you think I would like? Um, Bailey, it's hard to go by description. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, it's better than weathered leather. Bailey, you like like woodsy kinds of scents, correct? Please remind me. I'm I'm not always the best in my memory. I like I like this. I like this a lot. I'm I was I'm surprised. Okay. Oh, I know why now. I just read the description. Slip into something more sensual like bergamot, a subtle hint of leather, and sandalwood. I love love the scent of sandalwood so that's what's making it nice and smooth <laughs> and last but not least white grapefruit um bailey if i remember right you cut you like the oh this smells just like a grapefruit like i just cut it open the tanginess is there not as sugary yep i could taste it <laughs> i can taste it i can taste it um, turn the other, turn the other chic with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. That's why it's more tangy. I like it. I like that one a lot. Okay. So Bailey, I'm not sure about these so far. I'm trying to think of the ones that you usually like. Um, help me out. Help me out. Um, well, let, let's do this. 
I'll tell you which ones I really like. I I love woodsy scents. I love to an extent the bakery scents if they're not overly sweet. I do like some of the floral ones if they have a hint of the woodsy in it because the overly floral is is too much for my head. Um, because I don't I can't do musk and I can't do um, cinnamons. But I do love the fruity ones. Um, the fruity ones, and I like the floral ones, so I can change. Okay, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, Bailey, yes. So you will like, I think, um, let me go back through the names. Accidentally in Love, I think you're going to like that one. This is the one that has a, it's almost, it's, it, the description really, what is palm frond? I guess maybe that's the flowery portion of it, the, the greenery that I'm smelling. Bailey, I think you would like Accidentally in Love. I like that one. And I like fruity stuff too. Um, I think you're going to like Aloe Water and Cucumber, although it is light. I like this one a lot. And if you like pear blossom cucumber, I think you're going to like this one. The air wa uh, aloe water and cucumber. I also think you're going to like, let's get punchy. Do you like Hawaiian punch? The fruity, <laughs> fruity smells. I like, I like that one a lot. Um, Yeah, so see, you like florally ones, but you like them, the floral of the fruit, right? That's kind of what I'm getting from you. And so that's why I'm saying I think you would love um, Accidentally in Love. I think you would like Darling Dahlia. I think you would like that one. Um, I think you'd like Rainforest Bungalow because that's light too, but it's, um, it does remind me of Flower Shop. It smells greenery, but it's fresh. Um, and some pipes, come on, red splash, your leather. A is for apple. You know, like that one. That's a simple, yeah. That one's good. If you like apple, you have to like apple. Um, and then apricot vanilla. What was that one? This one is, I like apricot vanilla. It does smell like a creamsicle to me. So if you're not a vanilla liker, then you're probably not going to like that one. Um, and then this one was, oh yeah, I got to try that one again. Midnight in Caraco. I don't know. There's just something about this one that is not floating my boat. <laughs> I kind of, I don't know. I mean, I guess I smell a little bit of plum, but not much, boy, I'll tell you. And then of course, like the white grapefruit. The pineapple pucker, those are very fruity. You're going to like those. Um, Mandarin splash didn't, I don't know, that one wasn't very strong to me. It's not very strong. I find that one very light, which doesn't make it bad, by the way. That just means I love, like, pointed, poignant scent, like really strong scent. Why do you try to use big words, Edie? Really? <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely try Accidentally in Love, Bailey. I would definitely try Let's Get Punchy. I would definitely try Aloe, Water, and Cucumber. I would definitely try um, Rainforest Bungalow. And then the other citrusy ones that I think that you might like are Apple is for A, a is for Apple, Pineapple Pucker, White Grapefruit, and Darling Dahlia. And then for people who like bakery scents, I would definitely, all you need is love, uh, apricot vanilla, the caramel sugar cone, 
Um, the blue hyacinth. If you like flowers, this is amazing. I really like this one. The blue hyacinth smells incredible um, for floral. Sheer leather. I, I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised with this one. I would love to have this in my car. I wish this was in a Sensi Go pod. That would be amazing. Maybe they'll do that because I would love to have this in my car. So I'll be getting some scent packs of this, scent circles, and maybe some car bars so that I can put these in cars. I think that is awesome. So those are our newbies, and we have a lot of our, um, sorry, a lot of the spring and summer ones coming back. To name a few, we've got um, Aloha Citrus, Berry of Paradise, Coastal Strawberry, Pineapple Sorbet, Shimmer, one of my favorites. Flower Child, Go Go Mango. If you guys don't know what that is, that is one of my all-time favorites. It's from Australia. They released it there first, and now we get it. Um, Bailey, you need to try Go Go Mango, okay? Havana Cabana, Sugar, Summer Holiday, uh, Kahiko Hula, Lemon Short Sorbet, Lemon Verbena, Summer Soleil, Summer Sunshine, Lilacs and Violets, Lush Gardenia, Paradise Punch, Sweet Cucumber and Vanilla Oud. Those are ones that are coming back for spring and summer. Then we've got our classics and we've got our Darling and Dashing. Have you tried um, like the sea salt avocado, pineapple, coconut, vanilla, and those? You'd probably like those. Gosh, we've got some really nice scents coming out. My all-time favorite warmer in the new catalog is the world. The globe. Um, this top, the globe part comes off, and it's an element warmer, and you put the scent inside of this little drawer area. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. Love, 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 love. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just looking at the catalog. Don't mind me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And um, yeah, have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Yay. Bye.